Uh, joining us now, welcome back everybody. Joining us now is Adam Friedland. He's a millennial activist and a podcaster. Yeah. Adam, thanks for being here. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know about that intro there, but yeah, thanks a lot. Well, okay, yeah, I mean, you could help us out and, and clarify it. I mean, we, we found out about your work, of course, because we regularly watch I-24 News. That's one of our main oh, kind of like research like a, sources. So the, the, that's like an, that's an English langu language channel that's broadcast in Israel. So you live in Israel? I uh, No, we live in, uh, we're in New York, but uh, oh, we try wow. to. So you just get the TV. Oh, that's cool. We just get the TV and we try to make all of our sources israeli okay. so that we're not accidentally anti-semitic okay yeah well you can just show a picture of me and i think you can get away with uh anti-semitism <laughs> i think that uh showing a picture of me might be actually a, a means of doing anti-semitism well that was honest. the concern of booking you on the show because we try to be very culturally yeah. sensitive and so okay, what to do good. about the chiron good. was a worry um so but we, but the reason I, I've I've heard of you is because you were also on I twenty four. I'm on I I actually am a guest on I twenty four, which is why we watch it mm -hmm. so much. Because uh, and also oh, yeah, because yeah. It's I, was, it. I was yeah. You were on and and actually, you know what? Let me just step out of this. I think pretty funny bit premise for a second and say that you actually did a really good job in this segment, in my opinion, which. On I-24? Yeah, I think you really did, which actually was, to me adds to how funny it is. I was pretty embarrassed by it, to be perfectly honest, but uh, thank you. I appreciate that. No, I legitimately... I, I, received, a, I received a mixed review from my friends and family. Well, but my mom was happy I brushed my hair. So that was, so that that was, was the best I could have hoped for. Well, let's play the intro, because this is how I found out okay. who you were, and this is, of course, <laughs> how we're identifying you on tonight's show. This is... Uh, Adam sure. Friedland, his first appearance on I-24 News to talk about young Jewish people and their relationship to Israel. From an influential American, the state is losing touch with young American <laughs> Jews. In an interview with Haaretz this week, Alan Hoffman, the CEO of the Jewish Agency, called the trend extremely worrisome. Last year, the brand, Israel Group, released a survey showing Israel's favorability among young Jewish American college students dropped 27 percentage points between 2010 and 2016. One young American Jew with some strong views on this is Adam Friedland. He's a millennial activist who is also a stand-up comedian, and he's here in studio with me tonight. Adam, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So you came out very strong. You, you had your head cocked and you were smirking, uh, and that was yeah. how you had to open the interview. How, what were you thinking in that moment? Um, I don't know. Well, they kind of did a pre-interview earlier in the day and like they asked me like a couple of like two hours before they did the show. Mm -hmm. So like I didn't really know even what I was agreeing to. But in the pre-interview, they were like, oh, OK, just tell us about yourself. I thought they wanted to ask about like, uh, you know, just interview me, uh, a no name uh, podcaster and stand up comedian in Brooklyn about uh, how, uh, you know, I was I was grew up Zionist and you know I, I'm no longer I'm no longer a Zionist but uh when I got in there it was kind of like a like an O'Reilly factor debate format which was like, very confusing to me she was um, nicer than Bill O'Reilly dude let's let's be fair she was she, yeah. I thought she was pretty mean dude I didn't, <laughs> to be perfectly honest I, I did not enjoy it <laughs> and I'm saying this as someone who makes my living on a cum podcast uh, where my <laughs> my two friends uh, make fun of me. So I'm, I'm a pr professional, uh, professionally made fun of. But no, Wait, it so is. Do it they, was, uh, do they, your friends, are they from shul and they make fun of you for not being a Zionist? Is that what's going on? No, no, oh, okay. no, 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 <laughs> no. I'm on a podcast called Cum Town. Cum Town. <laughs> it's yeah, it's uh, it's pretty. I, I did mention that was probably the only thing I was proud about that I twenty four said. Oh, so trust me, our our end, crack on Adam television. Adam, <laughs> we have other clips of this interview, dude. Don't worry. Oh, so okay, let's. Yeah, yeah, I am sorry. I didn't realize that this would be so traumatic to you. We'll we'll get to your Chelsea Clinton victory no, in a couple fine. of minutes. No, it's not. It's not. It's not traumatic. 
<laughs> okay, yeah. But first, let's play. I honestly, we picked apart because I actually, again, no bullshit. I think you did a really good job, and I like all of the people there at I twenty four. And so I'm not like speaking. Yeah, out they're of turn. nice. The, the, Super nice. The guy people. that books it, Phil, is a really nice guy. I like him. Well, um, Phil I don't know if he's a, there anymore. I don't know either. But Phil, I, something. Yeah, yeah. Phil Podolsky. When Phil came. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out, Phil. Shout out, Phil. <laughs> Phil came up to me, one of the, because I, I got there a different way, but Phil came up to me, and and honestly, and maybe, and again, maybe I'm just burning all sorts of bridges, which is not my intention, but he came up to me, and honestly, I think on the day that I was going to go on, we had just released a clip called, I don't remember, but, you know, probably something like, you know, it's time to admit Israel's an apartheid state or something, and I, mm -hmm. and I see this, you know, very friendly nice you know israeli guy coming up to me and i honestly my thought goes to like you know what michael like go uh have a good time and you know thanks for coming in and that's it we never want to see you again right and yeah. then, and then he comes in and he's just like he's like i like you uh very much and also i don't know why i'm doing a russian mm -hmm. accent and he's just like well he is oh, russian he yeah, is oh, russian. yeah. yeah. Like, tmbs he grew up is, in israel yeah. tmbs is very good and um and all of this and also i am a cum boy <laughs> like okay. yeah yeah all right that's yeah awesome. that well that's how i got booked on it is because yeah. he listens to cum <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah i was booked on national news in israel because of some some guy, <laughs> who I think does their social media listens to. Who's really to my really really smart. Dumb, yeah, let's, my incredibly dumb podcast. No, super dumb. Uh, <laughs> let's listen. Let's let's the watch. Dumbest. Let's watch though the uh, part. I think we have two. Uh, I think we do have a part w with just the end. No, it, it has the you know, ask. He asks, they talk about the outright and stuff like okay, that. Okay, yeah, let's play this out, actually, because, again, this is actually a really good job. Generation, I think nowadays, um, what's pretty much happened is, is that we're, we're scared in this country because there are people that are arguing for uh, an ethno state. There are Nazis uh, marching in sh uh, Charlottesville, for so instance. So I just want to stop you there. Yeah. So the reason that Jews in America have loved Israel so much is because for thousands of years, Jews were persecuted all around the world to have a Jewish homeland mm -hmm. where they could feel protected and safe and connected to that. That mm -hmm. was the reason they loved it. You have so the when final you talk word. about the rise of the alt-right and Nazis wanting to get rid of Jews in America, mm -hmm. there's a reason that Jews love Israel because it's their state. So at the end of the day, they have a place that they're, it's their ancestral homeland. It's the country that yeah. they belong to. Do you understand that I understand part? that too. But then I also understand that Benjamin Netanyahu's son was sharing alt-right memes on his own uh, Instagram account. He was blaming blaming Black Lives Matter's activists for the violence in Charlottesville. So it's kind of strange bedfellows that have occurred, yes. that have like come up in the last year, is that the far right in the United States has sort of like, uh, their messaging, I guess, has uh, sort of mirrored the alt-right and the far right in the United States. And it doesn't make it palatable to a lot of uh, Jews, uh, young Jews in the States. I won't argue with that. Uh, I will say that it's not everyone in Israel. It's a, you know, <laughs> some people in the government. But was. this was a great conversation. Thank I'm glad you. We, had you, we had you on. Thanks again, Adam. I don't know if I'm an activist. So <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, comedian. We'll, a comedian. We'll call you a comedian. There yeah. you go. Hometown. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you say come town and then you like look off to another camera. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty bizarre <laughs> situation. I gotta be honest, but uh, whatever. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think I did well. I think Phil yeah, you heard me. I went on a friend of ours podcast, a podcast like a politics podcast called Chapo Trap House, mm -hmm. and um, I talked about like going to Zionist Jewish summer camp and then like living in Israel for a year between high school and college. I think Phil, the producer at I-24, heard that and they booked me for it. Um, you know, what? I, 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 the last thing I'll say on that kind of reminded me of this conversation I had mm -hmm. and of with a, you know, a baby boomer Zionist who's a really smart, really good dude. And we had an Israel argument yeah. and a Zionism argument. And, you know, what, what was so it was really depressing, but kind of hilarious because the flip at the end was like, he finally just sort of basically ceded all the territory and he's just like, God, 
I mean, from everything you're telling me, we just sound like absolutely horrible people. I mean, I would hate me if I wasn't me. So don't you think we need a place for refuge when everybody starts to hate us again? That's funny. I was like, That's wow. a good bit. That's jujitsu, man. That's honestly man. a good bit. That's honestly like a more coherent... Uh, <laughs> Is that we're also annoying that we all need our own country. <laughs> literally was um, yeah, where we were going. Yeah, more coherent defense of Israel than I've heard in the in the last couple couple of years. That would be funny if the um, DB started yeah. like just like, and also we are so annoying and people can't stand <laughs> us. <laughs> <laughs> you just enjoyed that Michael Brooks show video. And you can get a lot more by subscribing to us here at the Michael Brooks Show YouTube channel. It's literally right there.